In Arizona, the audit of Maricopa County's 2020 ballots has been on pause this week to make way for high school graduation ceremonies. Seriously, the Republican president of the Arizona Senate says the recount will continue once the graduates have vacated the building. But it's no longer just Arizona. A judge in Fulton County, Georgia, just granted a motion allowing absentee ballots from 2020 to be unsealed and examined for fraud. A conservative group created and funded by former Georgia Senator Kelly Leffler spoke out in support of the decision, quote, we must inspect Fulton County's absentee ballots to reassure Georgians that their voices are heard and their votes are counted. Of course, as you recall, the votes in the 2020 presidential election were already recounted twice in Georgia statewide, and we know that there was no fraud. Jenna Griswold is the Secretary of State of Colorado and the chair of the Democratic Association of Secretaries of State, and she joins me now. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Good evening, Zerlina. Thank you for having me. So what is the danger of the precedent Republicans are setting here? Is it that election results can't be trusted anymore? No, it's that Republicans are trying to stack the deck against American voters to take power. That's what's happening in Arizona, in places where these conversations are happening about sham audits, in the 47 states where we've had over 400 bills to suppress voters. Uh, the key behind all of this is a coordinated attack on our democracy. It's spreading lies to then be able to suppress voters for conservative Republicans to tilt election in their favor. Uh, this cannot be the new normal. It's un-American, it's undemocratic, and it's just wrong. One of your fellow secretaries of state, Katie Hobbs of Arizona, wrote this letter to the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors saying they should no longer use the voting machines turned over in the audit. Why is that con a concern here? And what are the security risks associated with the machine being in the hands of the cyber ninjas? Well, uh, first and foremost, the entity that uh, I, I wouldn't even call it conducting an audit, conducting a sham audit, conducting shenanigans out in Arizona uh, is a partisan group that doesn't have any experience in elections. And when we do election audits, there is a whole host of best practices, including chain of custody, uh, among other things. And once that chain of custody is broken and other uh, 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 security procedures are not followed, then it puts the voting equipment at risk. And it, this could cost Arizona millions of dollars to replace this election equipment. Um, but I think the bigger picture is, is that this attack on our democracy by spreading lies is not over. In fact, it's just uh, getting ramped up. And I think we'll be seeing it for quite some time. And voters will have an opportunity in 2022 to elect people who will stand with them, stand to protect our democracy, including Democratic secretaries of state who will be running in Arizona, Nevada, Michigan, Georgia, and in Colorado, big swing states for the nation. Uh, so I do think that, uh, you know, we just have to keep our eyes on the prize, and the prize is democracy, a nation where every eligible person can have their voice heard in free, fair, and secure elections and decide the outcome of those elections. And that's what Democratic secretaries of state are fighting for every single day. Right. It's the idea that, you know, you have your position Someone else is their position. You debate it out. Voters vote. You count it up. And whoever gets the most wins. It's quite simple. So in your opinion, what can be done by elected Democrats in the states? You, you mentioned the secretaries of state. But what, what else can be done proactively uh, to protect the ballot and voting rights? Well, there's a lot that needs to be done, and I'm so glad to be Secretary of State of Colorado, just honored every single day because we have the securest and most accessible elections in the nation. Uh, so we affirmatively send a mail ballot to every registered person. We have weeks of early voting. We have same-day voter registration, online voter registration, automatic voter registration. Uh, and that leads to us being the securest state in which to cast a vote, vote and one of the leaders when it comes to turnout. And every American not only deserves the same, has a right to the same. These are our constitutional rights we're talking about. So what can be done right now is the Senate can pass the For the People's Act and save our democracy. That's what is uh, what we're facing. We are facing a party who is trying to dismantle our democracy for their own corrupt wins. 
it's un-American. So the Senate has to act. And then uh, I just encourage all your viewers uh, to demand that their elected officials protect the right to vote and just the, the backbone, the foundation of this country.